Hi. Hello and welcome to to this video. I'm so happy to see my last video getting thousand views in in one week. So that's something cool. And I'm so excited in this video. I will be sharing another cool project with you. It's going to be a more hands-on and beginner's guide video about speech recognition in Python. So I hope you'll enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions or anything you want to share with me leave it in the comments below and let's begin. Thank you all, enjoy! Our topic is speech recognition in Python and the complete beginner's guide. I will try to make it simple and hands-on walkthrough. So let's see what we have. All right, you can go over this part, which is kind of introduction. We will be checking some libraries i will talk about the recognizer class and then i will show you some speech recognition functions which you can which you can use and then we will see some tips on audio pre-processing and finally there is a bonus chapter which <coughs> which we will come to it at the end of this video so let's keep going and yeah this is what is called speech recognition so you use your you're gonna use your audio file as an input and then your output is gonna be the recognized speech if there is any of course if not nothing is gonna return so yeah all right let's move on speed recognition libraries all right so here we have four libraries and cmu call these speech recognition and wait to letter plus plus so you can learn about these libraries over here and then if you click on these references it, it's gonna take you to their own documentation and their web pages which you can learn more about them but in this video we will go by speech recognition library and one of the reasons I will go with this library is it's free and it's compatible with many APIs and some of those APIs are paid so if you want to work on some advanced projects you should go with paid APIs but for this uh, project we will just go with free APIs all right let's keep going and as you can see to install this module we have to we have to do something which is called pip install so i haven't installed it yet so i will show you how to install this library through your terminal so first make sure you have python installed and then we will go ahead and install speech recognition all right let's begin As you can see the installation progress has been started and it's going really well all right yep that's it well done we have just installed the speech recognition library 
perfect. This is how cool Python is, isn't it? Okay. Chapter two, which is recognizer class. Okay. Let's 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 do some coding now. Here we have Jupyter Notebook, and I will go ahead and import the library we just installed. Speech recognition as SR. Shift Enter will run the line. Perfect. Now we have to define an instance. Recognizer. There you go. Perfect. Now we will we will we will define the energy thread thread hold. So let's see, I will just copy that, paste it. This threshold is about the loudness of the audio, so you can learn more about it by reading this part. All right, great. Now we are in speech recognition functions. All right, as I mentioned, we have different APIs. And as you can see, there is recognize Bing, recognize Google, recognize Google Cloud, recognize VWIT. And you can learn more about them over here. And we will go with Google's free web search API. So just giving you some heads up. That's the one we will use for this project. Okay, let's keep going. Here, here we have a simple example. So I will go ahead. Oh, we already defined these. So all we have to do is run the line, run the command. But I, I don't have any audio files at the moment. So let's create one. How do we do that? I will go ahead and record myself and save it in, in the project folder and we will come back to it in a second. All right, I am back. I have just recorded an audio file and let me show you i've created a folder called data and here is my audio file which i just recorded and we will go ahead and copy this line paste it and then make sure your file directory is right and language i have this is a parameter that you can use to define which language you are speaking in the audio so if you're planning to use a different language you should go ahead and check the recognize google documentation if if that language is supported so I will go ahead and run this line. Oh, wow. So we got this error message, which says audio data must be audio data. So our audio file wasn't an audio data. So this bring us to the next step, which is pre-processing of our audio file 